Hi, I'm Dr. Nick, and in this video, we're going to explore how big decimal values are. For now, we will only look at numbers between 0 and 1. Research has shown that it can be quite difficult to tell the size of decimals because they do not behave like the numbers that we are used to, numbers greater than 1. Try this little quiz to get your thinking going. We will explain each of the answers in the rest of this video. Here are the answers. The larger numbers have been circled, as well as having greater than or less than or equal signs. Don't worry if you got some wrong. The point is to get you thinking about them. In fact, getting some wrong is a really good sign that you're learning. We will now work through the questions one at a time. First, let's look at whole number comparisons. We are all pretty good at telling which is larger out of single digit numbers. Five is less than eight. When we start counting from 1, we get to 5 before we get to 8, so we know that 5 is less than 8. We can compare numbers of objects, in this case rectangles. We can line them up and see which is longer. The green 8 is longer than the blue 5 bar. Or we can use a number line. Convention says that we count from left to right, so we can see that 8 is to the right of 5 and is thus greater. 31 is greater than 9. 31 has two digits, the 3 and the 1, so we know straight off that 31 is greater than 9. Because we are used to our place value numbering system, we assume that the more digits a number has, the larger it is. This is a useful rule of thumb for seeing how big a whole number is. For example, it is really easy to see that 200 is greater than 2, because 200 has three digits and 2 only has one digit. But we will see that it is not a good rule for rational numbers. Point 0.4 is greater than point 0.2. These decimal numerals are the same length. Both point 0.4 and point 0.2 have just one digit after the decimal point. The 4 is 4 tenths and the 2 is 2 tenths. We can compare these the way we do whole numbers. You can see the bar representation here. And here we can see the two numbers on a number line. Each tick represents point 0.1 or 1 tenth. Point 0.4 is to the right of point 0.2 on the number line, which shows that point 0.4 is greater than point 0.2. Point 0.41 is less than point 0.51. This example is like the previous one. Both numbers have the same number of digits after the decimal point. We can use our understanding of how whole numbers behave to work out which is bigger out of point 0.41 and point 0.51. The 0.41 is 41 hundredths and 0.51 is 51 hundredths, so we can tell that 51 hundredths is larger. When there are two decimal places, it looks like money. If we think of it as 41 cents and 51 cents, we can easily see that 51 cents or 0.51 is greater. Decimals of different lengths. 0 0.08 is less than 0 0.8. This is where decimals start to behave differently from whole numbers. Because 0 0.08 is a longer number than 0 0.8, we might think that it is the greater one. Or because both the numbers are 8, we might think that they are the same. But both of those ideas are wrong. Let's have a look at what those values look like. Each of the grids shown here represents 1. The one on the left is divided into 100 squares. The eight blue squares represent 8 hundredths, or 0 0.08. The square on the right is divided into 10 rectangles, each of which is 1 tenth, or 0 0.1. The eight green rectangles represent 8 tenths, or 0 0.8, which is also 80 hundredths. You can see that 0 0.8 is greater, in fact 10 times the size of 0 0.08. Here we can see 0 0.08 represented on a number line. The blue arrow shows 0 0.08. Here, take a closer look. And here, the green arrow shows 0 0.8. Here is another way to compare two decimals with different numbers of digits. 
put some more digits on so that they have the same number of digits. In this example, we put a zero on the right-hand end representing zero hundredths. We are adding nothing. Then both the two-digit numbers can easily be expressed as hundredths. 0 0.08 is eight hundredths and 0 0.80 is eighty hundredths. Or you could think of them as eight cents and eighty cents. Which is bigger out of 0.2 and 0.35? We can use the last method we learned for this example. We put a zero after the two to make it the same length as the 0.35. We can see that 20 hundredths is less than 35 hundredths. The last example compares 0.6 and 0.60. We have already pointed out that they are the same. Six tenths is the same as 60 hundredths. A zero on the right-hand end, called a trailing zero, does not change the value. You might like to try this quiz now to practice what you have learned. Jot down the larger number for each of these pairs of numbers. Pause the video until you have answered it. The numbers are 2 and 8, 3 and 25, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8, 0 0.75 and 0.73. 0 0.06 and 0 0.6, 0 0.2 and 0 0.05, 0 0.601 and 0 0.4. Really, it is a good idea to do the quiz. And here are the answers. Don't worry if you made some mistakes, it's how we learn. You might like to watch the video again though. This video was How Big Are Decimals with Dr Nick. I hope you found it helpful. Subscribe to our channel and check out our website for more videos and resources.